Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the surging tide of global technological competition today, the technological game between China and the United States is like a war without gunpowder, but extremely fierce. The United States attempted to blockade and suppress China with its advantages in cutting-edge technology fields, such as lithography machines and chips, trying to curb the pace of China's technological development. However, Chinese technology companies did not retreat, but instead stimulated a stronger motivation for independent research and development. Recently, the first appearance of a new generation of domestic optical quantum computers is undoubtedly a dazzling milestone on the road to China's technological self-reliance. Breakthrough The first appearance of domestic optical quantum computers, foreign media also said, domestic optical quantum computers are comparable to top supercomputers. The Turning Q Gen 2 large-scale programmable optical quantum computing system unveiled in the Zhongjiang zone of the Shanghai International Technology Fair this time is like a bright new star, attracting countless people's attention. Its appearance is like a double-door refrigerator. It looks ordinary, but it contains huge scientific and technological energy. This optical quantum computer is mainly composed of three core components, quantum light source unit, quantum computing unit, and detection unit. Each part embodies the hard work and wisdom of scientific researchers. It has a quantum superiority level of 56 photons, which means that when solving certain specific problems, its computing power is almost comparable to that of the top supercomputer Qianhe 2. As an outstanding representative of Chinese supercomputers, Qianhe 2 has been ranked among the top in the world supercomputer rankings many times, and its powerful computing power has provided strong support for many scientific research and engineering fields. Now, the computing power of domestic optical quantum computers on specific problems is comparable to that of Tianhe 2, which is undoubtedly a major breakthrough made by China in the field of quantum computing. Even more amazing is that compared with Tianhe 2, turning Q Gen 2 has significant advantages in terms of floor space and energy consumption. Traditional supercomputers often require huge computer rooms and a large amount of power supply, while optical quantum computers have greatly reduced the demand for space and energy while achieving powerful computing power. This not only reflects the efficiency of optical quantum computing technology, but also provides the possibility for the widespread application of quantum computers in the future. At the exhibition site, the key device for its industrialization, the photonic chip based on 110 nanometer technology, was also unveiled with this quantum computer. As the core component of optical quantum computers, the performance of photonic chips directly determines the overall performance of computers. The photonic chips displayed this time indicate that China has made important progress in the research and development of photonic chips. Photonic chips use photons to transmit and process information and have the advantages of fast speed, low energy consumption, and strong anti-interference ability. Compared with traditional electronic chips, photonic chips have greater application potential in the field of quantum computing. With the continuous development of quantum computing technology, the performance requirements for photonic chips are also getting higher and higher. Through unremitting efforts, Chinese researchers have successfully developed photonic chips based on 110 nanometer technology, laying a solid foundation for the industrialization of optical quantum computers. According to relevant persons in charge, with the advancement of quantum computing technology in the future, CPO optoelectronic co-packaging and further optimization of related micro-nano processing technologies, 
quantum computers are expected to significantly improve computing power while reducing their size to the size of laptops. This prospect is full of expectations. If quantum computers can be so miniaturized, their application scenarios will be greatly expanded. Whether in the field of scientific research, helping scientists solve complex physical, chemical and biological problems, in the field of finance, conducting risk assessment and investment decisions, or in the field of medicine, accelerating drug development and disease diagnosis, quantum computers will play an irreplaceable role. At the same time, the development of quantum computers will also drive the prosperity of related industries. From the research and development and manufacturing of photonic chips, to the development and application of quantum computing software, to the maintenance and service of quantum computers, a huge industrial chain will be formed. This will not only create huge economic benefits, but also inject new vitality into the development of China's science and technology industry. The debut of the new generation of domestic optical quantum computers is a vivid manifestation of China's scientific and technological self-reliance. In the face of external blockades and suppression, Chinese technology companies did not choose to rely on others, but firmly embarked on the road of independent research and development. Researchers worked day and night to overcome one technical problem after another to achieve today's achievements. However, we should also be soberly aware that quantum computing technology is still in its early stages of development, and compared with developed countries, China still has a certain gap in some aspects. In the future, we need to continue to increase investment in scientific research, cultivate more outstanding scientific and technological talents, strengthen international cooperation and exchanges, and continuously enhance China's core competitiveness in the field of quantum computing. All this is just as foreign media said, domestic optical quantum computers are comparable to top supercomputers, the debut of the new generation of domestic optical quantum computers is an important moment in the history of China's scientific and technological development. It allows us to see the unlimited potential of Chinese science and technology, and also makes us more confident in scientific and technological self-reliance. I believe that in the near future, China will make more breakthroughs in the field of quantum computing and make greater contributions to the progress of human science and technology.